Joe, what's up guys? Welcome once again to my channel. I am Fikazo Traveler. Guys, do me a favor and do subscribe to this channel. Turn on notification bell to see more of the videos I upload on a daily basis. So, guys, I'm sitting in a beautiful place called uh, American Burger Planet Dinner. So, it's one of the good restaurants here in Kigali. You should try, you know, for those of you who are, in, uh, who are Americans, you know, American foods. So, guys, uh, today is just at the end of the year. We are in December just we are on the end of 2022 guys and then I've decided to answer this question you know I've got this question for the whole whole year you know people are asking you know this kind of question what kind of business I can do in Rwanda what is the profitable business how much I can invest in Rwanda you know guys uh, that's a really questions I've got about businesses here in Rwanda and guys today I'm gonna share with you some businesses you can do you know this is the first episode the first episode I'm gonna share some businesses you can do and the second episode I will do also the business you can do with a uh, low capital you know when you have like a uh, not uh, enough money to start business you know so that's coming the next episode but today I'm gonna share the business you can do in Rwanda in 2023 because we are at the end of the 2022 right now we are on the 20 second of uh, december 2022 so it means you're gonna invest in rwanda maybe in the beginning of 2023 so guys uh stay tuned we are coming back with businesses you can do uh. where did i go wrong mm. i'm lost inside my head mm. when everything around me keeps on changing and these broken thoughts are weak. I don't like to fly on my own. I need a little love sometimes. When the lights go dim and I'm outside in, she's the only one that still feels right. And she know how it goes. One day I'm the most. Next day I'm a joke, headed down that slope. Then I float to the coast with a lump in my throat. So guys, uh, the first business I can recommend you to do here in uh, Rwanda or Kigali, the capital city of Rwanda, for those of you who don't know Rwanda, it's a real estate business. The reason why I've started on real estate because uh, it's my field, you know, that's where I am, I'm in the real estate, you know, so real estate business is one of the booming business in Kigali, Rwanda, it means when you invest your money, it's going to come in burn. So, you people who are planning to invest in Rwanda in 2023, just consider real estate. For example, you may build like an apartment. Guys, I promise you, your apartment is going to get people and then you're going to get back your money. If you have a good management, I have to add that, okay? If you had a good management, your apartment is going to get people. And then, what you have to care about is the interior. When you, once you're building an apartment, because people, they like uh, interior. When you enter an apartment, it means you have to feel at home. You have to like that apartment. So, once you feel at home, you're going to like that apartment and then you're going to stay longer. It means once you build your apartment, think about interior design, architecture, you know, because there are people who are building here and then they do like a bad thing. You find like apartment is good outside, but inside is not that good. So people are not feeling at home, you know, when they are in that apartment. So you have to consider that. So real estate is a business you should invest in. In Rwanda, you can build apartments. You can start an Airbnb. You know, you can also uh, uh, build like a house. You know, be like uh, do this business, build a house, selling. You know, that's also another good business. You know, so it means uh, you can also do like this. You can buy like this and furnish the houses and finish the houses, and then you finish them because there are many and finish the houses, which are even cheaper. You know, you can do and then you finish them. You got money. You can go in land business you can buy land and then resell you know that's also in a real estate so it means it's a big field so you have must have information about that so that you can start your business in 2023 and then uh, flourish you know maybe got like a profit in your business so guys that's the first business you can consider so once you need more information about this business I'm stating here just uh, you can contact me I can connect with the other people in that field or if it's in real estate I can give you more information you want so the second one is coming we go 
So my people, the second business you should consider to do in Rwanda in 2023, it's agriculture. Oh my goodness. When I say agriculture, it means uh, people's life. Guys, you are just working on people's life because people, they want food. You know, they want to eat. Rwandans, they need food. So it means if you go in agriculture, and then you start uh, processing like crops, you know, like uh, maize, like this, uh, uh, this, uh, this food. It means you're gonna get market. When you do veggies, you're gonna get market. When you do fruits, we need fruits in Rwanda. You're gonna get market. So it means agriculture is still a fresh, a fresh, a fresh field to invest. Once you're interested to invest in Rwanda, please consider agriculture, and then you're gonna get profit. These are the business where you will get profit, I'm telling you, because I know people are flourishing in this business. You know, even they're not Rwandese, they have invested here. That's why I'm calling, encouraging you to come to invest here, you know. That's why I'm doing this such a kind of video for you to come and do the business. Because it's the question I've got and then I do this for you people, you know. So it means agriculture can be... Uh, your business in 2023 there is fields we have a fertile land guys you know that and then if you want to export we have Rwanda who can help you to export your goods you know once you want to export uh, in other countries so it means uh come and do big you know don't do like uh locals uh Rwandese, you know do big you know invest in agriculture but in big once you want to do uh, like a uh, vegetable business do in big you know once you want to do like uh, these crops other crops like uh different crops do big another thing you have to consider bring industries so there are different uh, things you can do here in Rwanda and then come and do big big bring industries you know these are uh, enterprises in these processing you know try like uh, other juices uh, make like different uh, like for example you can for example in Rwanda we have a lot of milk you can bring like uh, an industry that that produce powder milk you see that you're gonna get people and people they need that and then we need to conserve that milk because uh, there is a wastage of milk every day it means uh, the farm the, the farmers they have uh, they bring more liters to the market but uh, uh, you need something that can process like a powder milk you know so that's a tip for you guys so another business uh, you can do is a uh, farming guys when I say farming oh my goodness that's a business you have to do here in Rwanda which means you can do poultry, you can do piggery, you can do, you can raise cattles. We have a huge land. You can raise cattles for milk. You can do like uh, goats. You know, you can do different, different uh, business. Uh, for example, you uh, you can do uh, like poultry, poultry. For example, once you decide to do poultry, you know, you can uh, uh, bring eggs to the market. You can bring meat. We need meat, you know. So it means uh, people, they're going to buy from you, you know. But what you have to know is this. Do your plans well. Do research. Come to the country before even you invest. Meet with people, you know. You have to know the way things are done. And after that, you start business, okay. So that's three business. I'm going to bring more. Stay tuned. Guys, uh, these guys, they have a uh, really a, a nice tea, you know. They are called American Burger Planet, so they have never paid me, but uh, I like to promote things that's good. So another business you can try here in Rwanda, you can go in an uh, entertainment field. Guys, once you go in an entertainment field um, and you did well, you're going to make some money. You know what? Rwanda uh, major population is youth. It means once you become like an event organizer, you know, or you build like uh, these are uh, big halls for the concerts, guys, you're gonna get money. I promise you're gonna get money. Once you build like a cinema hall, man, you're gonna get money. You bring like these latest movies, you know. So that's another thing. It means once you do like uh, this entertainment business, you are oh, you manage artists. We have a uh, young talent here that are doing well. So it means oh, you're gonna also make some good money in entertainment. Wow, guys, another business uh, field uh, you can try just uh, technology. Here in Rwanda, technology, 
is one of the things that is moving up you know and then Rwanda wants to be like a hub of technology in Africa which means once you bring like a technology idea you're gonna get money for example when you are we are we are going to take a bus in Rwanda we use cards tap and go you know when we are doing like a pay we do cashless economy you know we pay on momo we pay on our, our phones we pay on cards it means once you bring a technology thing that helps people you're gonna get money which means you can come and then do a market study you study the problems uh, the country have you know and then even the government will support you once you bring like a, a technology idea it means when you come and study the market you see what Rwandese needs and then you apply that thing you're gonna get people because many many technology projects the government supports them so once you are a technology guy and you're planning to come to Africa you can choose Rwanda can be the best for you because you're gonna get your business gonna get flourish and the people are used to technology you know they are starting to be use technology it means it's not gonna be a new thing to them so that's another that business you should try once in Africa or here in Rwanda. Uh, so guys, uh, there are many, many businesses you can do here in Rwanda in 2023. You can uh, even come and do your research. You know, once you want to do business in a country like this, you first come, you do research, you see how people are doing their things, you learn, you know the, the everything about the country, and then you start your business. So this is the first episode of this kind of videos of businesses you can do here in Rwanda. In 2023, I will do more, more videos like this one. So please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and share to your friends who is interested. So guys, thank you so much. See you in the next one. Love you all.